this video is to show you my storage room upstairs. So I'm just gonna show you what I have for my inventory. So this is where I keep my fabric and I am getting new fabric. Should be here hopefully next week. So that's why I made space for the new ones. So this is how I package them. So these are cut by the yard. So that's how I save them. And these are cotton and also um, flannel. And then um, this hallway here used to be my craft room, part of my craft room upstairs. So now it's my inventory for my websites. So this is where I keep my cubbies, all my cubbies that I have in stock, book bags. Um, these are my vinyls that I have and all my towels, all my sweaters that I personalize, shirts, sublimation shirts, Bella canvas um, shirts. And um, I also have some shirts over there, some kitchen stuff, some hats. So this is where I keep my inventory and it's easier for me to actually order something so if I only have two of those left, then I will go ahead and order more. So this helps me um, also keep track of the inventory. So if you're running low on something, it's easier for you to see than having boxes because I used to have everything boxed up in the closet. So it's kind of hard for me to keep track. So that was my old craft room in that small little room before, but it's actually a guest room. So, um, so I'm using just this hallway to keep my inventory so I can see everything I have and I don't have to go through all the boxes. So if I'm running low on something, I could just look up and say, okay, I only have two of those, so let me order two more just to restock it. So it's just easier for me to keep all my stuff visible so you know when to order things. So this is what it looks like, just to give you an idea. And those are from Walmart, those cubbies and Better Homes. And those up there, I believe I got at Walmart too, but those I got at the store. These were online. And that's my vinyl. And those I also got on Walmart and these were ordered online. So that's what it looks like. So it's a pretty big space for my stuff and I'm happy with it. So I just wanted to give you an idea what I have and how I stored everything. So I wanted to also show you that you can actually fit a 15 by 15 um, cubby, cubby cubes. And I did have some here, I had six of them, but I moved them downstairs. So I keep my other supplies in there that you don't want to see out all the time so you can hide those. But this supply room, you want to see what you have because you have you have to keep an eye on it of what you're running low or if you need it. So this is why I like to keep these open. But um, yeah, these are my mesh laundry bags that I already embroidered um, whitey, hubby. And I also sell the um, cubby stuff animals. That I personalized so I made also laundry bags um, for those so I have those in my Etsy shop as well but I wanted to give you a close-up look of the stuff that you can actually fit I have towels in there all, all my stuff that um, I already made ready to go what you have to do is personalize it or add a name to it all I do is grab it and um, get it ready and ship them out these are my quilted blankets that I have. This is all I have left. So I'm running low, so I'm gonna order some more. And these are all my sweatshirts um, that I sell as well. I actually had a local order and it was a big order, so that's why I decided to get these and have them in hand. I just never know when you get another order, but I wanted to show you um, how I organized it. And these, I believe, are shoe boxes. And you can get these at Walmart. I had these for a very long time. I don't even remember what I had. 
when I got them, but this is good for your vinyl. So you can see also what you have. So I mean, you have pretty good space in there to store. And you can put these anywhere in your room. So I stacked them up. So I had those two here on the bottom, but I didn't like um, how they look there. And it was, it was actually in the way. So I actually have those two cubbies here, the shoe, um, shoe racks. But since my bedroom is here, you don't want to block that anyway. So I put them up there and they actually look better up there for some reason. I like the way it looks now. So I don't have little kids that they're going to be climbing up there. So I'm not worried about tying up the um, backs of the uh, cubbies. I don't have little children. My son's already old enough and he knows not to be climbing on me. But if you do have children, you want to make sure that you do secure your um, cubbies on the wall. I used to do that before when I was running a daycare in my house. Of course, you have to make sure everything's strapped in and safe for the kids. So that's one thing you need to keep in mind. If you want to stack them up, you want to secure everything. So, yeah, so, so thanks for watching, guys. I just want to give you an idea of how I keep all my supplies from my website and my Etsy shop. And I figured I'd give you some motivation to get your craft room um, organized. And maybe you can pick up ideas from me, someone else, and put them together. And it will work for you. And as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. Thank you.